This is the new High Court of Justice Rolls Building where Chantry Division matters are dealt with. Chantry Division matters relate to corporate and commercial legal work. The new Rolls Building is located behind the original Royal Courts of Justice High Court Building which you can see is more of an ancient build. English law is derived from two main sources. Common law which refers to the development of case law by senior courts over time and statutory law which is law arising from the legislation making powers of parliament. Other influences on English law include the European Union, European Court of Human Rights and also other international case law and legislation which in some cases is deemed to be persuasive. Running alongside common law and statute is a system known as equity. This system of jurisprudence was developed to deal with injustices. It is quite right to say that now equity falls to be a part of common law decisions at present. Equitable remedies, or in other words, outcomes for those who have faced injustice are discretionary whereas common law remedies outcomes in relation to a breach of the common law are available as of right this means that the court in relation to equitable cases has discretion as to whether to apply a particular remedy or not the remedies available in equity include injunctions which require a individual to do something or to stop doing something specific performance requiring a party to a contract to perform that part of the contract rectification which involves alterations and rescission where a party is required to return the other party to the position they were in before a agreement was entered into. The English legal system is always developing. Stay tuned for further videos on the English legal system and reforms taking place. Please subscribe and continue to watch. Thanks on this occasion for watching.